one so it's the one I've got to do so we're just trying a little bit of something something new also I've never marinated anything in my life so it's gonna be an experiment serves four to six people I didn't know that um I was gonna make this for myself so do you want some when it's done no it's food prepping you can have it for more than one minute in a week top tip from the hopeless chef I'm gonna take it you can make this for a multiple Chewed of different meals. Or you can cook for friends if they trust your cooking, which mine don't. This, we're going to do the marinade today because the marinade, it says in the book that you want to wait over a couple of hours or overnight to let that chicken soak in all the nice ingredients. So for the marinade, you need one onion, you also need two garlic cloves, a big lump of garlic, you just need a few cloves. These are a bit crap, I think mum gave me dodgy garlic. You also need five centimetres of root ginger. Well, my friend told me to get this instead, which is the very lazy chopped ginger in a jar. So I'm gonna give that a whiz. Juice of one lemon, one TSP of salt. Right, so we're just gonna chop the onion. If you don't know how to do that, what you wanna do is peel it. I've been told you need to leave this hairy bit on. If you leave the hairy bit on, apparently that's what makes you cry. So apparently... Believe it or not, she's chipping in. If you <laughs> put the onion in the fridge before you chop it up for some time, it actually stops you from crying. Ooh. Begin your chopping. Yeah, my eyes. Right, so feel free to pop your chopped onion straight into the food processor. It's all going to go in there. Let's just chop it all in anyway. Look, just pop it in there, look. Next, two garlic cloves peeled. Touch garlic, you know you get that funny ass smell on your fingers. Sorry, can I say ass? Of course, my YouTube. Okay. Apparently, if you rub your fingers on stainless steel, it gets rid of the smell. Whoa, hello. Right, now we need five centimeters of root ginger. Now I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put a spoon of it in. Right, garlic's in. Now we need a tablespoon of soy sauce. Pour it over, it doesn't matter if you get a little bit too much because to be honest, we all like a bit of sauce. Salt. Can't even say it. Salt. So we're gonna get a tablespoon. <laughs> a tablespoon. Juice of one lemon. So first, cut the lemon in half, like so. Then you need to get your lemons. Take them over to the blender. Give them a squeeze. <laughs> squeeze in there. Sounds <laughs> quite nice on the old arm. Make sure that you have this lid in the slot. Make sure the plug is on. <laughs> ah, make sure it's all clicked in the right places. As you can see, it looks a little bit like sick at the moment. What you want to do is get a spoon and just scrape it. Get for that. Right, let's just blend it one more time. Make sure it's all near the blade, like so. One of the best things about cooking is improvisation. Davina has said that you need to rub this over the wings in a moment and put them on a wire rack. Well, I don't have a wire rack because all my housemates are using it, so I'm using a baking tray. Grab that. Be aware that things may fly out of the blender for some unknown reason. Get your chicken out. Right, you do need one kilogram of chicken wings. Now, you don't want to lose any of this lovely marinade. Well, I'm not doing a great job. Now, as you can see, this is, this is my first time cooking these wings, and so far it's, it's going quite well. It's quite an easy, easy recipe to follow, hey, Mike? Mike is another one of my housemates in the grab your chicken. Oh, my God. Now, to me, this doesn't really look like a smooth paste. I'm not sure why, but that's okay. I'm just going to whack it on, rub it like that. Getting all the nooks and crannies, because it would be horrible to have a bland wing. 
So as you can see, I've now marinated all the chicken. Hopefully it'll end up looking like this one. We need to leave the wings to marinate in the fridge for at least a couple of hours or overnight. I'm gonna opt for overnight. Hello, welcome back to episode one of Hopeless Chef. With me, Hope Ellen. So yesterday, we marinated the chickens. It's 24 hours later, the chicken is in the fridge and I'm gonna pull it out and we're gonna cook these wings. Lovely and raw. Allow them to heat up in the room, so room temperature, for a little while and then move them over to a baking tray. I'm skipping that step because obviously it's already on a baking tray. So I'm just gonna remove this cling film. Make sure if you use cling film that you put it in a bin now, I don't really believe in preheating the oven. I think you should just shove it in without preheating. But because Davina said so, we're gonna listen to Davina. So it says here to preheat the oven to 180 degrees or 160 degrees fan or gas mark four. To glaze the chicken, we need some sesame seeds. We need some teriyaki sauce. And we need some butter. Right, so whilst the oven is preheating, I'm going to make a start on the glaze. Before I make the sauce, I've changed my mind and I'm gonna put the chicken in the oven. So it goes in initially for 30 minutes, okay? On 180 degrees, 160 degrees Fahrenheit, or gas mark four. Okay, so, yes. So initially, we want 180 degrees Celsius. If you've got a fan oven, it needs to be 160 degrees Celsius, or if you've got a gas oven, it's gas mark four. After 30 minutes, we're gonna turn it up to 200 degrees, or if it's a fan oven, 180 degrees Celsius, or, Gas mark six, if you've got gas oven. Mix the oil with the teriyaki sauce to make the glaze. One tablespoon of vegetable oil, oil or melted butter. So for me, it's melted butter. So I'm gonna get one tablespoon of this, stick it in the mic and then mix it. Make sure that when you've put your chicken in, you've actually set a timer. I just forgot, so I put mine on now. Scrape all the butter out. And then you want to mix it all with teriyaki sauce. So teriyaki sauce, we need two tablespoons. Right, we're gonna mix this together. So just keep mixing. Yeah, as you can see, there's lumps in mine, but it smells delish. The chicken has been cooking for about half an hour now, so I'm gonna check it out. Make sure that you've got oven gloves. Um, we don't have oven gloves here, so I'm gonna use a couple of tea towels and just fold them over. Get that nice and thick so you don't burn your skin off. Well, it's smelling very chickeny. But it's looking good, it's looking good. I'm gonna turn the oven up to 200 degrees. 180 degrees fan if you're using a fan oven or gas mark six. Nailed it! So I'm gonna turn it up to 200. And then we've got the glaze. Now you need to have really a little brush thing. Right, you wanna get your glaze and just start putting it on the chicken. Make sure all of them are covered before you go back and apply more because you don't want to run out on like the first few. Can you believe this is the first time I've cook chicken wings. Just make sure it's all covered. Go back and apply some more if you've got some left on the ones that are a little bit less glazed. And it smells so good right now. Right, get your sesame seeds and we're gonna sprinkle them. Oh my God. Get a bag, it's easy. To you. You want to sprinkle some sesame seeds over the chicken. Be careful, these little fuckers, they're going everywhere. Put the tray 
tray back in the oven for a further 20 minutes. How exciting! Right, it's time to get the chicken wings out. And they're done. So thank you Davina for your glazed chicken wings. If you want to try these, I'm going to put some of the instructions at the bottom in the description. See you next time. Bye!